UPS truck. I'm about to go run errands, and there's a UPS truck. It might be for me. It was from Rent the Runway. And I chased down the UPS. Watch, you'll see the truck behind me. Ready? <laughs> I chased him down, and I was like, is that from Rent the Runway? And he was like, uh, yeah. And I was like, is it for me? And I had to tell him the address and my name, and he just handed it to me. He looked really excited that a girl was chasing him. Anyway, good morning. Happy Friday, y'all. Y'all? Apparently I'm in the South now. Happy Friday. Today, I am taking a personal day and I am just getting like the 800 things on my list. And yes, I made a very detailed list. I'm getting them all done today. Um, first things first, go pick up my contact lenses because I finally got to be on my full-time employer's health insurance, which means big old discount on a year's worth of contact lenses. And then I'm gonna go pick up a bridesmaid's dress and then return an AT&T box from my apartment's internet usage. Oh, it's just gonna be a busy day. Also something kind of exciting this week. I unpacked my kitchenware, so I finally knew like where my pots, pans, utensils were. And I challenged myself, kind of half-heartedly, I challenged myself and said, all right, Kristen, let's see if you can go one or two days and only eat foods that you prepare out of your kitchen. This meant no fast food, no restaurants of any kind, and more importantly, no coffee because I didn't my French press wasn't unpacked at this time and I started that on Monday morning it is now Friday morning and I am pleasantly surprised and happy to say that I went five days eating nothing other than things prepared in my kitchen and it really makes you realize how much you know we just use fast food for its convenience yes the food tastes good but it really is the convenience when it's 5.30 at, at night and you want to come home and you want to eat now, but you have to be patient, you know, cook the meal. I mean, I prepared all these meals. They weren't like frozen meals. They were freshly made, like salads, fruits, vegetables, which was pretty nice. Um, I did not get to go to the gym as much as I wanted to. My goal was to go two times. I went on Tuesday, but I am in my active wear right now. You can't see it. But uh, I will try to go later today. If I get enough crossed off that list, I'm gonna go. But I am kind of excited to let you guys know I unpacked my scale and made sure that it was, you know, still in working order from the move. And I have lost two pounds this week. Who knew? Ooh, guys, it's snowing. Is anybody else terribly, terribly disappointed in Winter Storm Stella? Because I certainly was. I was expecting. Guys, it's snowing! I don't know why I like the snow so much. I thought I would hate it having spent like five years working on cruise ships in the Caribbean. I thought I would have hated snow and been like, oh, I just want to go back on board where the sun is out all the time. But no, I really like the snow. Maybe I'm just used to it, but I like it. Let me know down in the comments where you live and how Winter Storm Stella affected you. Clearly, if you're in the Midwest you're in another country or on the west coast, obviously you got nothing. Do you guys have any good plans for the weekend? I am going to an awards ceremony tomorrow. I'm presenting an award for like 10 seconds and then just watching all my friends and cheering them all on. What do you guys think about taking personal days? I think that it needs to be a balance. I think it's something that everybody should do every once in a while to kind of get back on track. I don't think it's something that should be abused, but I do feel like they are very good for you and your balance, like work-life balance, if that makes any sense. All right, first stop of the day, picking up a year's worth of contact lenses. Contact lenses acquired. There is snow, because there is snow, I'm going to be safe, I'm not going to vlog on the freeway. So, 
kids. I will see you at the bridal shop. Goodbye. Okay, Hey friends, it is now many, many hours later. I got majority of everything on my list done. Excuse me. I, what did I do today? Got those contacts like you saw. I got my dress, got my internet stuff put away, got all my errands run, got my um, grocery shopping, and then spent two and a half hours. That makes up for me not going to the gym today because I just did not have the time. I spent two and a half hours scrubbing, cleaning, mopping, vacuuming, everything to get my apartment spotless. Like, I'm talking countertops, scrubbing the fridge, uh, magic erasering the walls. Oh, I, I think I got there like at 1.30, time is now 3.40. Um, I just dropped off some stuff, I donated all the things I didn't need anymore, and I am now going to go get these nails done. I don't know if you can see this, but I've cracked a majority of them. And like I told you before, I have that award show tomorrow, so I'm taking that as an excuse to go get another coat of shellac. And I don't normally get my nails done, as you know, if you watch this channel, but <sighs> desperate times. I haven't eaten since my trip to Starbucks. I did take a one hour like break to go to Starbucks, which wasn't even a break. I paid all of my bills online paid off my credit card, um, and I let my subleaser know that her apartment would be ready and we are going to trade the keys on Sunday. But right now I'm going to a little place called Zest. Um, they make like fruit smoothies. They're one of those like really fancy top-notch smoothie restaurants. And they make like the vegan coconut milk, almond milk, you know, healthy stuff. I don't I'm fighting traffic. I have 25 minutes to get to Zest, order a drink, get through traffic, and try to get to the nail salon. I made a 6 o'clock appointment. It really should have been 6.15. Recapping back to my question this morning about taking personal days. I think as you get older, your personal days are less about like relaxing and doing nothing, and they're more about just like catching up on things, because I feel like I feel like I spent this whole darn day scrubbing and cleaning that apartment, but if I look at the list I made, like that full checklist, I got a lot of stuff done. I've been out of the house since 9 o'clock, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, I've been out of the house for like 8 hours. It really was like a 9 to 5 work day. I am tired. Some of my friends are here from college and I couldn't see them today and I'm so sorry. I just had no time. But trust me, I would much rather have been hanging out with you guys then scrubbing and cleaning and getting bleach all over my hands. My hands feel like sandpaper. They feel horrible. Oh, this must be what an adult feels like. All right, let's go get a smoothie. This is one of those, um, like, almond banana, some type of creation of those two things. And then I had them put a little bit of chocolate protein powder in this. Cause it's now 10 till six, but my dinner reservations aren't till 8.30 cause that's when my girlfriend wanted to eat. And I'm starving cause I didn't eat since I had a Starbucks like lunch sandwich and coffee at noon, I wanna say. So it's six o'clock, I'm hungry and I haven't cleaned that house all day. But zest, I don't know where else it is rather than Columbus, Ohio, but if you ever come here, they're pricey, but they're like a good treat if you need like a meal to carry you over. I'm sorry, this is not going to be like the highest quality because the sun is setting and it's kind of dark, but the day is done. I got like 90% of my list completed and I'm going to go toss some trash out. That's why you see a box 
the back of my car, I'm not a hoarder, but he did finish that delicious smoothie and I got my nails done. These are my actual nails. They've grown out long enough to do a French tip manicure. Anyway, everything is done. Uh, feels pretty good. I was glad to take a personal day. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.